Hey there, this is Headhunters, and you are watching Student Aesthetics, My Shredded Lifestyle, Episode 5. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on guys and welcome to the fifth episode. My Shredded Lifestyle, gut is going well. Um, this morning I actually woke up a little bit heavier than yesterday. But that is something that happens during gutting phase. Uh, you know, weight fluctuates throughout the week. Um, I did have like the majority of my food intake yesterday, uh, like right before I went to bed, like pretty late at night. Also fit in a McFlurry. So it's kind of like high in sodium, high in sugar. Um, so I may have stored more water today. You know, weight fluctuates, that's why you wanna that's why I weigh myself every single day, and I take the weekly average, I look at how much weight do you lose per week, um, because on a daily it can fluctuate a lot. With that said, it's 11.30 right now, we're on the road, heading to Harlem in the Netherlands. Let's get day started. So the plan for today, heading to Harlem, because a friend of mine lives there, Willem, who is better known to some of you guys as DJ Headhunters. And um, it's, actually, it's actually funny because he was watching my videos for a while and he shot me a DM a couple weeks ago. And uh, we got talking a lot. And so uh, we met up for the first time last week. We hanged out for pretty much the whole day. It was super fun. And I'm going to be his trainer. So I'm going to help him get in the best shape of his life. And it's going to be awesome. I'm super excited. And I'm gonna take you guys kind of through the process a little bit as well, as far as his diet and training goes. And like last week, I uh, shot a picture, put it on Instagram together with him, and people absolutely lost their shit uh, because it's funny how two worlds get together. Um, you know, obviously the music industry and the fitness industry, we're both from the Netherlands, so you know, a lot of people have been following the both of us, but you know, it's, it's kind of like funny to see us together. So that's why I decided today I'm actually gonna shoot a vlog with him because I know a lot of you are excited for that, so. It's gonna be fun. You're alone in the ground, like a ghost inside, sleep walking in the darkness. When you're lost, I'm here, and I'll wake you up and hold you when your world shakes. If you listen, all right, so we're gonna start off today by hitting a workout, and we're gonna train legs today because Willem actually has a little injury in his biceps. Um, so this Friday is gonna do another check. We haven't hit, you haven't hit your upper body for over a week now, right? Nope. Took like a week rest, did legs every other day. How has it been? It's been hell. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually on tour, so I, I had to walk, uh, you know, through airports yeah. every day. And I was like telling myself, like, no excuses, no excuses, but it was, it was hard. <laughs> Made it happen though, so today we're gonna hit a leg workout again. And then um, hope that next week we can hit upper body. Um, but we'll see how that works out. A little bit of rest is never too bad. So um, I'm gonna take you guys through this workout. deadlift first exercise on the other day so he has two different days um, a legs a and legs b day and he rotates between them 
um, because he does legs every other day. So on the other day we start off with squats instead and then do stiff legged deadlifts afterwards for the hamstrings. Um, so the first day you start off with hamstrings, the other day with quads. Now we're gonna move on to the squat. And he was saying, like, I, I wanted to get under the bar, and he said, aren't we gonna do the thing in our neck? Like the neck pad, I think his belief is called. Um, and we don't, because he says it hurts if you don't. The thing is, it will hurt um, like the first two to three times, and then the pain will be gone. And it also depends where you place it. You don't want to place it like in your neck bone. Yeah. You actually want to, on your shoulders, do shrugs, get it on the traps, on the, traps, on the yeah. trap muscle. Now, now, not everybody has like huge traps. I got skinny traps myself, but you can still just place it there on your upper back. You don't have good traps? Hmm? You don't have good traps? My traps are pretty bad, yeah. yeah. It's like a weak point? Yeah, or? yeah, it's kind of my weak point. And calves. <laughs> they know. I saw that you're also really lacking on your chest. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I saw it on I one of his videos. That, he was Thank like, he was like complaining about his chest. So uh, let's get him. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make you suffer today. All right, so you place it here in the upper back. Looks good. So not in the neck. So the first. Oh, there's like sweat in my eye. <laughs> What's this? Sorry. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> sweat. So the first two to three times is gonna hurt a little bit. He's, he's crying because of what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying because of the chest. I want the chest, bro. I've been working so hard at the. Uh... <laughs> you should have acted. They are already here. The Elder Scrolls told of their return until the time after oblivion opened when the sons of Skyrim would spill their own blood. Yeah, low key. Heb je hem aanstaan? Ja. Deze jongen noemt zichzelf wel. Oh, wacht, hij moet het. Oh, wacht, hij moet het in Engels. This guy calls himself student aesthetics, but in fact he is school dropout aesthetics, right? They know. Yeah. Get your facts straight. <laughs> I'm a student of aesthetics. Yeah. Ah, that's nice. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. When are you gonna be master aesthetic? <laughs> <laughs> Grandfather aesthetics. <laughs> <laughs> One day. When you find that life's neither black or white, and the rain outside turns to glory, you'll see colors, 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 colors. When you mop the sky and the sun comes through, know your greatest days are ahead of you. You'll see colors, colors, colors. I kind of feel bad for him that he has to. Train like three times a week. <laughs> makes you mentally stronger, though. That's why I told him. Yeah, man. It doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. <laughs> That's it. All right, so we're gonna do the last set for legs, for the hamstrings. Great isolation exercise. What we're doing here is a form of rest pause training. Um, so basically, you pick a weight that you can do for eight reps. 
eight clean reps, then you drop the weight immediately by 50%, and then you do eight more reps, you take about 10 to 20 seconds of rest, including you having to change the weight. So it's pretty much back to back set. So it's kind of like a drop set, rest pause technique. And so we do three sets of that in total. And what we do also, um, once you drop the weight and you do the 50%, you pause at the bottom for a slight second, all right? So it's gonna be heavy. Now your greatest days are ahead of you. You'll see colors, 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 colors. Now we get to um, the actual reason why Hedy wants me to train him. Because yeah. I'm the, the king of gas. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> What? The game of have, you, have you seen my gas? <laughs> you see my gas, bro? I don't know, with your pants on, they look tiny, man. <laughs> <laughs> bro, they're huge. Check this out. They're huge. Chicken legs, bro. Look at my cat, man. Student genetics. Student gas statics. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry, it gets better I know it's blurry, but in due time Salty waters turn to laughter Confidence starts in your mind Break all the borders Cross troubled waters Live in the moment Love like you own Done. We can still walk. Can you? Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> At least we can make it to the grocery store and uh, get some food. Yep. Alright, so before actually heading to the grocery store, we have another task. Because today we still gotta make an Instagram picture. Of course, part of the job. Now, um, Willem had a cool idea. You guys are gonna see it in a second. But what he's doing first, going through the car wash. One day I was eating an apple and uh, then suddenly the idea struck me that, you know, this could be better. 
this it can this can't be it. This can't be the best I could get out of an apple. So I I, I begin to think, and, uh, and then I, I came to the idea. Let's just put it in a pan. Creative mind. And uh, that almost sounds like a philosophy story. And, uh, let's add some. Uh, One day. <laughs> add some cinnamon. Like this. A zero cooking spray. <laughs> and some zero cooking. cow. I use uh, fam spray. <laughs> okay. Same principle though. Just so that like you don't use olive oil, so you save calories. Yeah. Yeah. I wanted to eat a regular apple, and he was like, "Wait." Yeah. Wait. 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 What are you doing? You know. First, we put it on uh, a little bit of higher uh, fire. Now, to be honest, before uh, before I got into intermittent fasting and training. I, I had a really like a love-hate relationship with food. You know? I was always afraid to gain weight, and I was actually always gaining weight or losing weight. Yeah. You no, know, I was never stable. I was or eating too little or eating too much. You know, I was trying to stay skinny, um, but I always drove myself to the max, and then I couldn't take it anymore, and I started binge eating. Yeah, that's and exactly what I talked about in yesterday's video. Yeah, and like I hate you try to eat healthy all the time, and then you start binging. And, and I hated myself for it, you know. And I was like, how, how am I going to, you know? I, I couldn't take it anymore. And then I came across intermittent fasting, and absolutely changed my life. Like now, also with with the training and everything, all the insight that I got, I my love hate relationship with food, it completely transformed to a love relationship with food, and. Eating for me every day is like a big party. It's like a yeah, man. celebration of life. <laughs> That's how it's done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I can absolutely, you know, I see, I, 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 everyone should notice, you know, like, I mean, almost everyone is struggling with food. I know. Everyone yeah, is I trying know. to lose weight. And I, I think that after finding out all this, that insight, knowing stuff is, is, is the solution, you know? Definitely, man. So I'm trying to teach people on the channel. Yeah, it's like yeah, the, sure. it's like the Matrix, you know. Yeah. About, take the blue pill, take the yeah. red pill, you know. <laughs> take the olive oil, take the pan spray. <laughs> right on. Like honestly, I, for myself, it changed my life as well. Yeah. So that's just I'm trying to help other people do the same thing. Yeah, man. This makes it so much better. They don't wanna. Definitely. They don't wanna step on the on the scale. They don't want to know about calories because they're, they're they know that they're eating too much, but they're yeah, not yeah, ready yeah. to confront themselves. Right, right. Huh? Yeah, yeah. But actually, once you do, it's it, it life becomes so much greater. <laughs> it's um, 5:30 right now. We still didn't eat anything, so we saved all our macros for tonight. Yep. To have an epic feast. If it fits your calories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If it fits your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> That's what she <you> said. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> yeah. Taste test. Damn. It does smell like apple pie. How is it? Mm. <laughs> it's good, huh? Yeah. Apple pie right there. Thanks yeah. for the new life right? hack. But I mean, every day I, I see this guy I get new life hacks, new diet hacks. I mean, for the, for the amount of calories, this is crazy good. It's the right? same amount of calories that a regular yeah. apple. Yeah. Try it out at home. Guarantee you'll love it. So we just had our first meal there. Big beast. What's good, man? So uh, we basically had um, those two hamburgers, the low fat ones, made it in a barbecue. Freaking awesome taste. And then next to it, 250 grams of sweet potato, all the veggies and stuff that we showed on the camera. Now we're gonna go to his studio. Entering uh, the cave, aka my so-called studio. <laughs> <laughs> now this is uh, so. This is your old house. Yeah, this is where I used to live, and uh, I moved away since like a couple of months. Uh, but I still have this house because we're building a new studio, and uh, I want to be able to work until that time. Yeah. Know, so. 
Welcome to my Here studio. You know. <laughs> First thing I spot is all the caffeine. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> keep working all night. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> Gotta keep it going while fasting, right? I just discovered yeah. these actually. Yeah. I saw one of your YouTube videos. <laughs> And you were I'm like, sorry, yeah, man. I'm sipping on a Everybody white monster. Everybody I show gets addicted to this stuff. Yeah, you were like sipping on a white monster. <laughs> I like, gotta try that shit. I gotta be as cool as Mariah. You know? <laughs> I'm absolutely not cool. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so this is where it all happens, huh? This is where it goes down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the new studio is gonna be like a lot bigger. It's gonna be yeah. really, really good. But actually, I'm I'm okay with this also. You know, it's like for sure. You know what? I had a studio and it was full of equipment. It was full of synthesizers and whatever. And at one point I was like, man, I'm not using any of this, you know, I'm only yeah. using my ears, a couple of speakers and, and the computer and I just got rid of everything. Nowadays, all you need is, is really a computer and I mean, I, I, I want to be able to make music everywhere, not just in the studio, you know? Yeah, we can travel so, a lot. Yeah, so I mean, a laptop and headphones will do, but I mean, I prefer studio speakers because they give me the ability to make my music sound better. Uh, because you're just able to hear more on speakers like that. Yeah, you know? yeah sure. So uh, what you see here is like all these yeah, panels. Yeah, so spotted. Yeah, yeah, they're like if you if you take away all of that, it, this will sound like a bathroom. I I create ideas on the road because I'm also very always very inspired on the road. Yeah, yeah, for sure. When I, a lot of times when I'm sitting here and I have nothing to start with, I'm I feel like man, I want to go outside. I want to yeah, yeah. you know do other things. But when I'm on the road. And when I have no distractions, I'm like, let's make music, you know, and I create ideas and then I come back home and I just, you know, make them perfect here. Finalize yeah, it. Finalize it. Yeah. Sweet. This is, uh, yeah. this is what I think, uh, the best picture ever taken of me. And, uh, it was at DEF CON 2016, one year ago from now. And, uh, actually my, my girlfriend took it and, um, it was the the most beautiful day of my life, so uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. give it a very nice spot in my new house. For sure, for sure. This is what destiny looks like. This is what destiny looks screen. like on a screen. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> this is sad. Yeah, it's a, it's like, and these are all folders, so you have to oh, imagine right, right. that every oh shit, every <laughs> like every lane has uh, a sound in it, you know. And this is like all the effects in the song, like for example, sounds like this. Yeah. To give you know impact and uh, and this is all the the vocal stuff. This is actually me. The the vocals is me. Yeah. Uh, let's see. If Traveler, travelers on an unending voyage of discovery. Yeah, that's my voice. Uh, this is uh, like the melody stuff, you know. Uh. Uh. So where do you start with producing a song? Right. I almost always start with text and, and melody like that's for me that's the, the yeah, basis yeah. of the whole thing you know I start with an idea so what is the reason for me to make this song you know I don't want it to be just another song like when I make a song I want it to have a purpose or a, a yeah, right yeah. to exist you know um, and it has to contribute something to everything that's already out there the, the process of thinking about uh, making a new song what, what the idea is gonna be that's the most difficult thing you know and then the rest is skill skill yeah, of yeah. being able to hear everything clearly and technique you know but that's the, the creative creative part is the most difficult part you know am i gonna top all the work that i did in the past i don't know i don't know and then you're sitting here in the studio and you yeah. and nothing comes out and you're like oh my god i lost it i, I can't do it anymore you know <laughs> it's uh, it's always challenging yourself man i think that's a fun thing isn't it yeah and yeah absolutely the sports and stuff help me uh, clear my mind to stay focused and to uh, stay in a you know in a like way of thinking that's practical like uh, I got to do this I got to do that and I I've noticed that when working out um, it helps me to stay positive to stay yeah, yeah. and 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 to to think in a very efficient way um, like uh, I also had times where I, when I, where I'm like uh, too much in the studio all, only sitting on the couch and I'm like thinking too much about unnecessary stuff like uh, uh, where am I going to be in five years or blah, 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 yeah, blah, yeah. You know, like uh, completely you, you can't know. Um, and since I've started working out, maybe it's a, it sounds a bit far fetched for some people, but it changed my, it, it helps me to change my thinking into. Oh man, it did for me as well. I think to a lot of people. I mean, we're meant to move, you know, we're meant to work yeah, our bodies. Yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, yeah, that's kind of uh, how we ended up here, right? <laughs> <laughs> <Definitely>. <laughs>
<laughs> you helped me make it. this song, man. You didn't even know about it. <laughs> Appreciate that, though, but I'm not gonna take any credit for that. <laughs> Time floats frozen. Tonight, the stars ignite like fireflies. Tonight, yeah, it's burning a hole in the sky. Tonight, it's beaming. <laughs> Yeah, Right, so um, we arrived to the epic dessert that I was talking about. So first of all, we got the pancakes here. This is actually a recipe that they got for me and it is on my YouTube channel. Um, it's actually an article on my website, so I'll link that in the description box down below. Um, but it's basically healthy pancakes, oats, banana, and then um, we do four egg whites. You can also do egg yolks. We wanted to save some fats because we got plenty of fats <laughs> right here that we're gonna add as a topping. This is where right, the healthy so. part stops. This is, this is where the healthy part stops <laughs> and where you talk about the balance. All right, he takes the balance a little bit too much balance in my opinion, but hey, can be done sometimes. Um, so what we do is we track all our food, which is why we're able to eat foods like this. Regular people that will see this will see this as a cheat day. This is just a regular day in our life. It's, it's not a cheat day. I'm gonna be more shredded yesterday than I was today, which is the cool part. All right, so as long as you track all that. So what we do, uh, we have an app called My Fitness Pal. You can do it in a different app as well. I really like this one. Caramel Sutra Core. We just scan the label. Bam, it's that easy. Sometimes life is just good, man. <laughs> All right, so this is the meal. So we got the, the healthy pancake recipe that he turned into um, a little bit more unhealthy. Looks so good, though. So freaking good. All right, and in total, this is only 844 calories. Um, so we got one banana, 80 grams of oats, the four egg whites, 100 grams of the Caramel Sutra, Ben and Jerry's, 20 grams of Nutella. So the macros in total are 122 carbs. 27 grams of fat and 23 grams of protein. So I was just telling him that we actually look like massive stoners. Yeah. We're just sitting here eating all night. <laughs> and we're just we're laughing like we're stoned as well. <laughs> we're not for the record. Huh? <laughs> Are we? <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna finish off with more. This is, um, it's a small magnum though. All right, this will put my macros at a total of 72 fats. I'm shooting for 70 a day, 124 protein. I still got protein left because I'm shooting for 170 protein and about 300 carbs. I got 50 carbs left. So that's crazy, I can go home, still eat more food. It's already almost 11 o'clock and I'm getting shredded as hell at the moment. So <laughs> life is pretty good, man, if you uh, do this correctly. And um, so the plan I have him on is actually to bulk up because he, he is already like really, really lean. Uh, he doesn't weigh that much and he wants to put on more muscle. So I'm sure we can put on, you know, at least five kgs of muscle this year. I think even a little bit more to be honest. So um, it's gonna be a cool process and we're gonna, you know, film it as well and show you guys how he looks from time to time. I feel like a woman when eating this because it's, it sounds like you're trying to seduce someone with that bite. Like, <laughs> it's really fucking good though. It is good. Which one is it? Mm. Double double peanut butter. Yeah, double right? peanut butter. Yeah. Try it out at home if you have macros left. All right. With that said, want to wrap up today's vlog. Make sure to give Willem Headhunters a follow. Links will be in the description box down below. We got some cool stuff planned next week. Are we gonna tell them what we're gonna do yet? Mm, no. Nah, we're not gonna tell you yet. No. Just wait for some epicness. So make sure to subscribe to both of our channels and uh, make sure to vote for him on the DJ Mag as well. I'm your man. He's the man. Make sure to do so. If you like it a little bit harder though. And if you don't like it, make sure to do it for me anyway. My music Give is good to love. work out to. Definitely, man. Definitely. <clears throat> you should try it out. Hard with style. Shoot. Check it out. Make sure to like this video if you like the video. And um, see you guys in the next one. Are you done? Because I want to eat my Mac. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. See ya.